Kids to A channel. I'm Aishwarya and in this video, I'm back with another very interesting question for all of you. Is a water bird's feather waterproof? Well, when you think about it, right? It's a very interesting question. Also sounds very rhyming, right? What a bird, what a proof. So we're going to understand this a little bit in detail. But before I go ahead, I want all of you to make sure that you hit that subscribe button and you hit that like button to show us your love. But in case if you're wondering why should I hit that like and subscribe button, then please watch this video till the very end and then you will know why you have to stay subscribed to our channel. So without wasting any more time, let's figure out is a water bird's feather really waterproof? Now, before I talk about the reason behind this, let me give you a very simple example. I am sure a lot of you out there love to swim, right? Personally, if you ask me, I don't know how to swim, but I know a lot of my friends who love to swim. And the first thing that they want to do as soon as they see a swimming pool is to dive right into it. And they'll take a big dive into the swimming pool. And when they come out, they'll be fully drenched. I'd see water dripping off their hair and hands, right? So they're fully drenched. But the same thing, if you see a water bird. Now, if I ask you an example of a water bird, all of you will tell me the most common example, that is duck. Because we find ducks on ponds and lakes and they're most often there swimming, right? Normally, we will never see ducks drenched in water, things are dripping off their beaks, water is dripping, no. But as a matter of fact, they seem to be pretty dry. And this is what I mean by, are water birds really waterproof? Which means that they are not getting drenched or affected by the water. So what is the reason behind this is what we are going to find out. Now, the answer lies in their feathers. Now, if you look closely at the feathers of the water birds, we see that the hair that are there, right? They are very closely woven together. Okay, so we see that they're finely packed together and we see that this right here is almost like how if you take many threads and weave it together, right? You get a piece of cloth and you will not really realize that they are made up of many, many threads together. So this right here is one among the reasons of providing protection and also contributes to the fact that it makes it waterproof. Now notice how I said it contributes. That means that this is not the only reason behind it. Not the fact that the feathers are there, which is why they are waterproof. But we see that in most of these water birds, right? For example, seagulls, ducks, penguins and swans. We see that the answer behind their waterproofness lies in their tail. So we see that the tails have something known as a preen gland, which is also known as the uropygeal gland. So for simplicity, we're going to call it as preen gland, okay? And we see that this right here produces an oily substance. Now, I'm sure a lot of you must be wondering, ma'am, you've just told us a new word. You've told us gland. What is this gland? Now, as biology students, we must know what is a gland, right? So glands are nothing but group of cells, okay? So I'm just going to erase this. They are nothing but a group of cells which have the ability to secrete or produce a chemical substance. And in this case, the preen gland that is there is producing a chemical substance. It is just that it is oily in nature. Now, I want you to keep this in mind, okay? The fact that it is oily in nature. Now, almost most birds that are there, most water birds, have the habit of preening or what we also call as grooming. Now, um, what is this grooming? How is all this related to waterproofness? You tell me. See, it's very easy. We keep ourselves groomed, right? We take bath every day, every day. We make sure that we wear clean clothes. We take a haircut once in a while, right? We comb our hair. These are all things that we do to groom ourselves, to keep ourselves presentable and clean. Similarly, birds also want to do that, right? So what they do is they use their beak and they make sure that they groom themselves, or they preen themselves. Wherein they get rid of parasites, they get rid of any dust particles that are there. They make sure all their, you know, um, feathers that are there are properly arranged. And in this meanwhile, where they do this, right, we see that the oily substance which is produced by our preen glands, they make sure that they distribute it all over their body. Now, how is this related to them being waterproof? Now, the reason being is the chemical nature of that substance which was secreted by the preen gland. It is oily in nature. And we know that oil and water don't mix, right? 
So if there's an oily layer all over their body, we see that they don't tend to get drenched, which is what actually keeps them dry when they are even in water. So this habit of preening that we observe in water birds like swans and ducks is what actually keeps their body waterproof apart from the feathers that they possess all over their body. Now, I'm sure all of you must be wondering, okay ma'am, you told me waterproof, uh, you, we see this in water birds that are there and they have preen gland, they're producing some oily substance. What about the other birds, the ones that can fly all over? Do you think they also do preening? Do they also have a preen gland? Well, yes, they do. Because grooming is important. No, it's not that only water birds have to keep themselves groomed. Even the other birds, the aerial birds, right? Or the birds that can fly have this ability. So we see that owls, parrots, hawks, pigeons, they all preen, right? And they also possess a preen gland as well. It is just that this preen gland that is there, no? It will not produce an oily substance per se, but rather something which is a little more powdery in nature. And as it gets spread along, it becomes sticky and it makes sure that this is utilized to keep their body dry throughout. So in this case, is it right for us to say that all birds have waterproof feathers? Well, to some extent. But we know that all water birds that are there, which we find in ponds and lakes, right? We know that their feathers will be waterproof. Yes? So now I hope you found the answer to the question that I asked right in the beginning. And now I'm sure that if this is the first video that you are watching in this channel, now you will be convinced to hit that subscribe button because in this channel, we always ask some interesting questions and give you the answer for it. And if you found this video helpful and you want more such videos, do let me know in the comment section below. And of course, if you are new and you have not heard about Ante, Ante is nothing but the Akash National Talent Hunt exam, which is happening in November. And we see that this right here is your a gateway into writing competitive exams. And they will prepare you for the competitive exams that you will be giving on later in life. There will be scholarship, there will be mock tests, cash rewards, and of course the cherry on the top that is the NASA trip, which is an all expense paid trip. But if nothing, I would tell you that write Anthe for the experience. So do not forget to register. Link is there in the description box. And of course, from our end, we are organizing a parents club because every parent is a teacher and we want your parents to be as involved in your academics as we are. And we have a parenting expert, Chetna Vashish, who's going to be coming live on the 5th of October at 12 p.m. And 5th of October is, of course, our World Teachers Day. And she is our expert who's going to be sitting with you and your parents discussing some of the important things that have to be addressed, right? She's, of course, the vice president at Baijus. She's the Chet Chat founder and an XLRI gold medalist. So, of course, attending this webinar is a must and I would recommend it. This webinar is, of course, again, free of cost. You have nothing to pay. All you need to do is to come with your parents, spend some time with us and trust me, you will go back with a lot, right? So do not forget to register. The link is there in the description box. So you see, in our channel, we always have a lot of interesting things lined up for you. So if you love this video, make sure you hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section if you want more such interesting ones. Share it with your friends and stay subscribed to our channel. Hoping to see you more with more interesting questions. Bye-bye.